All right, boys and girls, welcome to Sunday morning. We're going to move away from our story about Joseph in the coat of many colors and his 12 brothers. And we're going to, since Christmas is coming up, we're going to talk about Christmas, okay? So our Bible point is changing this week. And our Bible point for the next couple of weeks will be, we celebrate Jesus. And when you hear me say that, I want you to go, hooray, Jesus. Try it with me. We celebrate Jesus. Hooray, Jesus. Good job. Our memory verse is going to be one that I'm sure you're familiar with. It's from John 3, 16, and it says, For God so loved the world, he gave us his one and only Son. For God so loved the world, and we're going to make a heart with our hands, he gave us his one and only Son, as we point up with our one finger up to Jesus. Good job. All right. Our Bible story this week comes from the book of Matthew in the first chapter. Okay, and in it, it talks about angels and a man named Joseph and Mary. Now, it does, the Bible doesn't actually say anything about angels having wings or halos. So when we think of angels, we're just going to think of them normal, like they're walking around, okay? Um, Joseph was tired, and it was time for him to fall asleep, okay? I bet you know what it's like to fall asleep. Before you go to bed... What do you have to do? I bet you eat dinner, then you play a little bit. I hope you brush your teeth before you go to bed because nobody likes stinky breath. And then you close your eyes and you drift off to sleep. Maybe mom or dad or grandma or grandpa read you a story or something too. Yeah, but you finally go to sleep, don't you? Yeah. Well, Joseph, in our story, drifted off to sleep too. And when he slept, he had a dream. And we're going to read about it. We're going to read from Matthew chapter 1, oops, I skipped it, verses 20 through 21, and it says, oops, pages are sticking together, let me find it, there we go, it says, but while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, Fear not to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Okay, <clears throat> so an angel appeared to Joseph in his dream, and he said, Don't be afraid, Joseph. You don't have to worry about anything. I come with a message from God. And because God wasn't going to stay far away from the situation, God was right there with him, okay? God was with Joseph, and the angels came to tell Joseph, don't be worried about this. In fact, Mary was going to have a baby, and he would, and God would be with Joseph so close that Joseph could hold his hand and tickle his toes. Imagine that, God with fingers, whoa, the angel had told Joseph the name of the baby, to name the baby Jesus. The angel also talked about another name for Jesus. Let's read and find out what it is. So Joseph had this dream where an angel came to him and said, Mary's going to have a baby and it's going to be the son of God and you are to call its name Jesus. Wow, that was big news, don't you think? Yeah, so Joseph was going to get to hold and God's own son, Jesus and play with him. Pretty cool, huh? Now, Matthew chapter 1, verses 22 and 23 say, Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they will call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. So the name Emmanuel means God is with us. God would send his son, Jesus, to earth. Jesus is fully God with creator power and love and also fully human with toes and fingers. He'd need people to help take care of him. Jesus needed a mom, a dad, and a family here on earth. And that's where Joseph came in. Joseph woke up. The angel was gone. Okay, whew, what a dream. Wasn't that quite a dream? All right. Joseph was so surprised, he hurried and he stood up and got out of bed. Hmm, 
What do you think Joseph would do? Do you think he would obey the angel and stay with Mary and take care of the baby? Or do you think he would run away? Well, let's read and find out. In Matthew chapter 1, verse 24, it says, Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had told him and took up to him his wife. So Joseph did what the angel said. Joseph believed in God and he knew what the angel said was true. So he understood that he could trust God. So Joseph married Mary and soon they traveled to the town of Bethlehem. And that's where Jesus was born. Jesus had a family now, and Joseph accepted his part in God's plan to show the world his love through Jesus. Whew. Think of think of a time. So Joseph, instead of being scared or worried or unsure about having to raise the Son of God, Jesus, he trusted God and he obeyed him and did what he said. I want you to think about um, a fear or worry that you might have right now. Okay, then I want you to grab a piece of paper and scrunch it into a worry wad. Just cr crumble it all up. Did you do it? I hope you did. Okay, and now hold that worry of wad in your hand as I pray, okay? I'm going to pray. So hold that wad of paper. If you don't have a piece of paper, I'll give you just a minute to go get one, okay? I'm going to get my wadded up paper. I have a piece of paper, and I'm going to put that worry on my paper, and I've wadded it all up. I want you to wad it up and hold it in your hand. Okay, dear Jesus, thank you for being Emmanuel, God with us. When we are lonely or worried or scared, you're with us. We don't have to face life alone because we have you. In your name, amen. So boys and girls, I want you to take that worry wad inside your hands. Imagine that Jesus is holding your hand and carrying your worry with you. Pray and talk to Jesus right now. You can tell him that you trust him with your worry and you love him. Did you do it? Give Jesus that worry. Okay, now I want you to open up that paper. Smooth it out, that crumpled up piece of paper. And I want you to say, God is with us. Say that with me. God is with us. Yes. Remember, I want you to always remember, even when we have worries and we're afraid or we're scared or we're not sure what, what to do, God is always with us. And all we have to do is pray to him and he will be with us and he will help us through that worry or that fear. Because you know what? God is with you and he's with people you love and he's with people all around the world. No matter what, God's presence is a gift to us. All right, boys and girls. I want you to have a great week and remember that no matter what, you can rely on God because he is with us. No matter what, no matter how we're feeling or what's going on, God is with us. So we can celebrate Jesus. Hooray, Jesus, because he is with us.